proposal that could bring a gun shop to Jack's Beach went before City Council this evening. The owner of Coastal Heating and Cooling wants to build a gun manufacturing facility in an industrial zone that's just a half mile from Jack's Beach Elementary School. To do that, however, gun manufacturing must be added into the current city code. Channel 4's Eric Avignier was at that meeting tonight. He's joining us from Jacksonville Beach City Hall to explain. So, Eric, earlier today we spoke to some people who were concerned about the new gun shop. That's not the feeling you're getting is after the hearing tonight, right? Well, I can tell you, going into tonight's meeting, there was a lot of hoopla. But then coming out of tonight's meeting, I can tell you there was one popular word that you could hear from folks leaving from this building. That word is misunder, uh, misinformation. Now, under, uh, I learned that the proposed location is actually outside of a school zone, but inside of an industrial zone. Under the current city code, firearm stores are allowed in commercial zoning, but you can't manufacture. In order to manufacture guns, you have to be in an industrial zone. To do so in Jacksonville Beach, it must be added to the city industrial zone code. So David Dick, the man who is uh, proposing to open up a gun manufacturing and retail location, is trying to get the city council to add manufacturing to the city code. It was during the meeting that we also learned that gun manufacturing can also be defined as altering or repairing a weapon and not necessarily building a gun. When it was all said and done, several people who voiced concerns about the proposal changed their stance on the issue. I feel better. I do. Um, I'm actually okay with it. We're with the location. I agree with the conditions they're putting. Um, I feel like it's responsible. I also learned some things. I didn't realize a manufacturer meant Oh, my trigger is too stiff, so can you please fix this? I just think it's getting rid of the misinformation. And so many people want to provide misinformation and bad facts, or no facts, it's fake news. You know, they're just making it up as they go along. Um, so presenting the real side of this and the real facts is what got it, got it passed. Now tonight, the city council voted in favor of a conditional use, which means this issue uh, will now go uh, to a second public hearing before the city council makes its final decision. Reporting live, Eric Avignier, Channel 4, The Local Station.